Hey guys, so today, actually this story today was written by the same person who wrote yesterday's story. If you're watching it after yesterday, which is today, <laughs> just saying. Like, well, like it below. <laughs> but it's, um, it's like a weird anime. It's not anime. It's, it's not anime. Like anime. Yeah, it feels like anime, but it's not. It's about succubuses again, so suck. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> see at the end of the video. Be me. DM. Lover of succubi and dogs. Made a city of succubi and demons. Be not me. Paladin with a burning hatred for all things unholy. Favourite phrase? Deus Vault. Before smashing some poor thing into pulp with a flail. Druid and pure nudist. Never uses clothes. Not religious beliefs or a curse. Just hates clothes. He's also about 360 years old. 90% wrinkles. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. Mage that always uses one spell slot for an illusion to put clothes on the druid without him noticing. That's actually quite good. That I is like good. That. I like that. I like that. Players get a quest to cleanse a city of evil demons. Arrive near city. Paladin practically shaking just thinking about how much heresy he's going to cleanse. <laughs> I, can, I can see <laughs> that. It pretty much sums up my discourse. <laughs> It's just, if you can personify my Discord <laughs> into a, a, a D&D character, That's it. this is it. In bushes, close to the gate now. Paladin wanting to go in, blazing, in a smite of holy fury. Druid manages to convince the shaking Paladin that it would not be the best of ideas. Druid goes to smooth talk the guards. Druid asks guards for passage. One ticket for me and my friends, please. One ticket to the Joker, please. <laughs> Guards look confused. Friends? Druid of panicking says, They're invisible. Guard number two. Throw up an anti-magic field. Druid's clothes disappears. Guard number one looks at guard number two. Really, dude? This guy? He's like 500 years old. You have the strangest fetishes, I swear. Druid stands there like nothing happened. So, about that ticket for me and my points of genitals, friends. <laughs> the Druid says while trying to suggest them. Guard number one, about to throw up, tells him to pass and for guard number two to give the clothes back. Guard number two looks at guard number one. They just disappeared. Guard number one's eyes widen. Wizard comes bursting out of the bushes, full snake oil cellar style, with a prestidigitation moustache. I see you two fine gentlemen have a mighty conundrum. Well, look no further than the wizzy wizard magical potion of clothing. Only five silver and a ticket to your humble town. Guard number one practically falling over himself to hand the man the coins. Here, take him! <laughs> wizard replying, now adding an old-timey radio filter to himself. Thank you for your patronage, my dear. Now sit back, relax, and let me do the rest. Wizard shoves the potion of clothing into the druid's mouth as he casts minor illusion to put the clothes back on. Wizard now making the voice crackly while he speaks infernal. I will be seeing both of you very, very soon. As he laughs a demonic laugh, leaving the guards feeling uneasy, scared, and one of them oddly aroused. <laughs> Wizard player asks me if this is a sleight of hand check. I tell him, those guards are so confused and desperate, I doubt any of them would even care if they knew it was an illusion. Now with the wizard and druid in the city, they go into the alley and teleport the paladin to them. Slaying time, JPG. Sees a family of succubi. They legitimately seem to love each other. Paladin is torn, although unholy. I will not strike down civilians that have caused no harm. Sensing the crack forming in his personality, I decide to push how far I can make him not attack these succubi. They decide to walk around the city like they were meant to be there. Attract a few gazes since they were the only non-demonic beings in the city. Nobody attacked them, merely looking interested at them. Decided to go into the central plaza so they can see what the city has for sale. Mostly bondage-esque gear and misc sex related items. Not sure what I was expecting, Dotmov. Druid gets an idea, goes into an infernal tattoo parlour so he can get some ink, returns with a classic succubus tattoo on his stomach, even glows in the dark. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if his asshole is his belly button. I like to imagine <laughs> it looks like, you know, steve -O's tattoo? Of, of himself? Of himself, <laughs> but it's like, it's, it's like that exact <laughs> style. Is succubus? Yeah. One step closer to close, I guess. 
The paladin replies while sipping a coffee at a cafe, ignoring the unholy ritual his friend just did in hopes that he will eventually get something resembling clothing. The paladin quickly sees a strange looking succubus. Unlike all the others, she's wearing pure white and she has multiple religious symbols stitched on her clothing. Succubus is sitting at another table while looking at him, getting flustered when he discovers her. Paladin decides to ignore her, returning to his perfectly brewed black coffee. Succubus girl walks up to Paladin, face behind a large tomb, seemingly embarrassed. <laughs> Hi, I, I, I see you're a paladin. M maybe talk? I'm a religious woman too. This isn't going to end well. I, I've got a bad feeling about this. Just... Paladin's going to fuck a succubus. <laughs> Paladin replies with, You're neither a woman nor religious. Leave me be or be purified. At this point, the succubus girl breaks down in tears. It's my sister. She's very sick. Please help us. Nobody here knows how to treat humans. I don't know about this. This sounds like the start of some really bizarre hentai. <laughs> yeah. I'm just being honest, but yeah. Like this, 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 you know what I'm all about. Yeah. Like, fuck me. It's okay, because she's actually like 500 years old. <laughs> This gets the paladin's attention. A succubus who is a sister to a human? Follow me, I'll get our doctor. After a quick meeting where the paladin gets the other party members, they go to the succubus's girl's house. Even at the front door, they hear coughing. As they enter, they are met with a hallway adorned with religious symbols. No particular preference, just all of them. <laughs> just all of them. <laughs> Even find the paladin's symbol there. Coughing and wheezing gets louder as they come closer to an old wooden door. As they enter the room, they spot a human girl, no older than ten, fighting for her life against an unknown sickness, frail, weak and dying. Party tries all the normal strategies, healing, cure wounds, cure disease and so on. Druid gets an idea, asks Succubus Girl if anything unusual happened in the days following her getting sick and what she has done to cure the little girl. Apparently the succubus girl had found the girl abandoned in the forest, and she took her back home. They became close after just a few weeks, but after a while, the little girl became more and more sick. Druid asked what she'd been eating. Before getting sick, bread, corn and stews mostly. I was never good at cooking, but I assure you, her diet was good and varied. Now she does little more than drink water. Wizard thinks this sounds familiar. This city? Where does it come from? Succubus girl looks at the wizard. The abyss? It got transported here through a wormhole back when two old gods were battling for power. Wizard's face turns white. And how long ago was that? Uh, about three months or so. What? Wizard tells our druid to inspect her nature. Seems the little girl is mostly made of magical energy. As in her body is kept together by weaves of magic similar to the weaves used to cast magic. Druid looks at wizard. So what does this mean? Never seen anything like this in humans. Ghosts and spectral monsters perhaps, but never to this degree. Wizard deactivates all magic he has. Druid turns naked, much to the dismay of the succubus girl. Spell plague is ravishing the city, and these devils have no clue what's happening. All non-abyssal entities wielding magic are at risk. If you have any spells running or spells at all, now is the time to shut them down. It spreads through the weave and if you touch the corrupted weave, you're in for a bad time. Druid shuts down all running spells. Beard turns white. Weird purple stuff starts growing on him. <laughs> and as if he removed his makeup, looks way more coarse and old. More than usual, that is. Succubus girl looks like a brick of reality smashed through her. So, sis? She will die? Wizard looks at her. Normally no, but it appears this girl is held together by magic. I'm unsure. Paladin pricks the succubus girl with a needle. Ow! What was that for? Paladin looks at her. Better than a sword, no? Paladin puts the drop of blood and smears it on a page in his holy book. Picture of a succubus and its abilities appear. Paladin reads through it. Paladin sighs. Corrupt her. She's become a succubus child? Or something along those lines. Bottom line is the corruption might keep her body from disintegrating, much like it does yours. Corrupting her means taking her soul. Succubus girl uneasy about this. Druid breaks the tension by whispering something to the succubus girl. Wizard can read lips. Never told anyone. Druid is saying, Now, I may not look it, but I'm one of you. 
I doubt my friends here have any clue what goes into such a ritual. If you're uncomfortable by doing it, I can. Wizard realises now why the druid isn't wearing clothes. Huh, he says to himself. The party watches as the succubus girl does some strange voodoo stuff. Druid says something while coughing. A word that should not be known by any mortal being. Wizard realises he shouldn't have heard that word. It's corrupting power being near overwhelming. If not obscured by a cough and for his high intelligence save, the wizard could have lost his own soul. Small white orb appears from the small girl's chest. Paladin prays to his god to keep the soul safe. Succubus girl kisses the little girl in the forehead. Druid starts coughing. Wizard realises what's about to happen. He plugs his ears. Another word comes out and the little girl growing fangs, skin becomes pale and eyes become red. Druid acts surprised. Seems like we have ourselves a tiny vampire now. Why do you go Irish there? <laughs> seems hey, like see, here, seems Abby. like we have ourselves a tiny vampire. Oh, get the good jacks up, Kaya. Come on, I'm sorry. Yeah, fuck. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that. Here. We'll see what happens. Keep that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fuck it. Little girl grows large wings. Correction. It seems we have ourselves a tiny true vampire now. The mage cracks. Paladin is torn. Was it good corrupting another being to save its life? Did he follow his god's will? What is good anymore? What is corruption and what is purity? Wizard slashes his wrist with a dagger and lets his blood pour into the little vampire girl's mouth. Not eating makes you weak. Grow strong. Find a way to feast without killing. Little vampire girl's eyes open. First instinct is to hug succubus girl. Paladin looks at them. Love. Love is purity. A feeling of complete trust and purity to another. Paladin's religious symbol glows bright yellow as small cracks form. Symbol explodes. Another symbol taking its place. A golden heart. Succubus kisses Paladin. Usually when a succubus kisses another being, it sucks the life out of them. This was a warm, embracing kiss. A kiss of love. Paladin totally made a succubus fall for him. The succubus joins the party as a companion, having her grandma look over the little vampire. They find an inn where they can spend the night before setting out for the journey back to the church that had originally commissioned the city cleansing. In the middle of night, Druid visits the mage. You heard it, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I also heard what you told the succubus girl. The druid looks at the wizard. So, what happens now? I'm sure you feel pretty betrayed. Your friend being not much more than a persona worn by a demon. Wizard looks at the druid and smiles. If you want to keep the facade up, feel free. I'll play along. Just start wearing clothes, please. Druid chuckles. I believe we're good enough friends by now for me to reveal my true identity. Especially now since the paladin seems to be more accepting with my kind now. Druid slowly changes into the most beautiful creature the wizard has ever seen. Where most succubi are not more than humans corrupted and changed, this is a pure succubus. Among its powers is always looking perfectly made for whatever creature looking at it. Wizard goes wide-eyed. Damn, this is an upgrade from that old wrinkle that was our druid. Pure succubus smiles. Let's tell the paladin. A short explanation ending in the entire party getting laid by misc succubi ladies. Noon breaks. They travel back to the church that made the commission to cleanse the city. Paladin's old church. When they tell the head priest not to hurt the city of Succubi, they retaliate by threatening to cleanse it themselves. Paladin looks at his old head priest, now full of hatred for another being, just for existing. Deus Vault. A flail caves the priest's face in. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. I quite enjoyed it. I thought, like, you know, you guys really enjoyed the succubus story yesterday. So, you know, I had a wee dig in a bite. And what do you know? They got more stories. So I thought, fuck it. Why not? Let's go for it. But uh, no, bit of an announcement. Well, not really an announcement. But uh, we just hit 90,000 subscribers. Holy good fuck. That's amazing. I'd like to say a big thank you to all you guys that have subscribed. I think that's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm really, like, I, we really, really want to get that silver play button big time. You know, we're so close to the 100,000 mark, it's ridiculous. So it would help us out a lot if you guys subscribed, shared any videos with your friends, anything like that it would help us out so much. And of course, thank you guys that have been subscribing, watching all the videos and, you know, enjoying it with us. I really enjoy what we do here. So, you know, I, I think it's pretty cool. 
But look, um, also, also, um, I recently got some new models up for sale. I've got actually on the topic since we've done two succubus videos, and I just released some succubus models today. You should definitely go ahead and check them out. It's combo duo. I won't really say too much. But, um, yeah, they got the top halves out, so, you know, like, go check it out. It's on eBay. Down in links down below. I'll get them sent out to you. Don't you worry. I think they're pretty cool anyway. But, like, enough of me rambling. As always, hope you guys have enjoyed. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, all that other good shit. And we'll see you in the next video. All done.